Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. Today we're going to talk about Apex Triggers. Um, triggers is something that's pretty fun and it's you can do so many things with it. Um, in this example, all we're going to do is use an opportunity. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to opportunity. So we want to check if the opportunity amount is greater than 500,000. Then we want to find the related account which would be this one here. So I'm just gonna open that up. Then we wanna update the account field, um, customer priority to high, okay. So I'm just gonna set this to low for now, um, just to save, save it like that. So in, inside of our code here, um, to create a trigger, all you do is you just go to new, Apex trigger, and then put in your name, um, select the object and then yeah, that's pretty much it um, At the top here. We've got after insert and after update um, The reason why we've got that is because after basically after the update we want to update the account, okay? so what we want to do here is in inside of this for loop um, We're running through all of the opportunities based on based on the trigger so if, if an opportunity had an update or an insert, then it's, it's gonna run through this and check the opportunity amount and check if it's greater than 500,000, okay? Then we've got a list of IDs here at the top. We're gonna add the opportunity um, account ID into this list that we've got up there at the top. So here we're gonna, we're gonna check if there are any account IDs that we need to update, okay? So the reason why we need to check this is if we don't check this and we just run this code every single time there's an update, if there's nothing in the list, we're gonna get we're gonna get an error saying that there's no records in the list. Okay, so it's really important to make to do this if statement. Um, inside of this, we've got a list of accounts where we're checking the ID and customer priority from accounts where ID is equal to the ID there at the top. Okay. Um, we use in because it's basically iterating through through the list, um, and we use the bind expression because we've got a list here that we're declaring at the top. Um, inside of this for loop here, we're running th through the accounts that we've got, um, checking this list that we've just declared at, at the top, and then we're setting the customer priority to high and then it'll update the account. Okay, cool. So let's go to our opportunity here. Um, do, do, do. I'm not actually sure how to update the amount field. <laughs> okay, there we go. So just go in there, make this um, 510,000, hit save. Okay, so now if we go to our account, um, we've set the customer priority as low. So if I refresh this, and go to details. Ah, oh, cool, it works. So that's changed so high. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It means our trigger fired. Um, and then if you go to logs, you should be able to see a few logs here as well. Um, that shows you that the trigger fired. Um, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and yeah, check out the rest of our videos. Thanks.